so today we will talk about the flagella and fimbri these are two very important appendages which are present in certain bacteria and hence they becomes very important uh, from exam point of view as they are asked in short notes uh, very commonly in university exams so first coming to the flagella uh, how will you define the flagella so flagella can be defined as thread like appendages which are protruding from the cell wall remember the flagella is protruding from the cell wall and the, so uh, you can define it by saying that uh, yes it is a thread like appendage protruding from the cell wall which helps in the bacterial motility that is called as the flagella now according to the arrangement of the flagella on the bacteria we have different types of flagella like in certain bacteria it is present on a single pole that is called as the monotrichous flagella that is uh, seen in case of the vibrio cholerae and in case of the pseudomonas one should must remember these names okay then uh, flagella present on both the poles that is called as amphitrichus we know amphi means amphibians okay so similarly amphi amphi means both side amphibians means which are present in water as which can live in water as well as in the land these are called as amphibians means both the places here also amphi means both the places means both the poles of the bacteria possess the flagella that is called as amphitrichous flagella and this is very importantly present in alkali genes fecalis then a, a lot of flagella present in a single pole that is called as the lophotrichous lopho means a lot of flagella okay that is seen in case of spirillium then peritrichous means flagella present all over the body of the bacterial cell wall that is called as the peritrichous flagella this is seen in e coli proteus listeria salmonella and all so this table is very important okay this table is very important please remember this names of the uh, flagella the position of this flagella and the examples very very important of these different flagellas okay so uh, there goes the arrangement of the flagella now coming to the ultra structure of the flagella ultra structure of the flagella so the ultra structure of the flagella if we see has got three parts one is the filament other one is the basal body and the third one is the hook okay so uh, the filament is the longest portion of the flagella it is made of the flagellin protein so see here this is the filament okay this is filament there and then this is the hook this is hook there so this is filament this is hook and these structures there are the basal body this is the outer membrane of the gram negative cell wall this is peptidoglycan thin peptidoglycan layer of the gram negative bacterial cell wall and this is the bacterial cell membrane or the plasma membrane and this whole structure this whole structure is the basal body so basal body is that portion of the flagella which remains embedded in the cell wall and this is made up of, of different rings about two to four rings are present in the basal body see here this is l ring then this is p ring this is s ring and this is m ring so l p s m this l p s m ring these are these are the four rings which are present in the basal body so it is not uh, uh, compulsory that all the four rings will be present the rings may vary from 2 to 4 in the basal body of the filament uh, uh, sorry of the flagella so in the uh, basal body of the flagella there are that is made up of different rings which are present in the embedded in the cell wall of the bacteria then the hook portion this is the hook portion so hook portion is that portion which links uh, links the basal body with the filament so this is the ultra structure of the bacteria and this is the drag diagram of the ultra structure of flagella you should must practice this diagram and whenever asked you should must draw the diagram as well in the examination now coming to the how will you demonstrate the flagella so for demonstration of the flagella we have very commonly met used method that is the hanging drop method so in that test uh, what do we do we take a line uh, on a slide we take a saline on slide and we take a culture uh, of a uh, you know uh, bacteria over this saline and then we tilt this uh, slide in uh, you know inside out so that the drop of the saline looks like this and then through the microscope we see here okay and 
as we see in the microscope there we can detect the movement of the bacteria in this saline drop okay we can detect the movement of bacteria in that saline okay. this is the hanging drop method then we have youtube method what is that so in the youtube method this is a youtube we take we take a youtube in this way okay okay and in this uh, youtube we inoculate at inoculate the bacteria at one side we have a growth media in the uh, growth media in the youtube okay we have a growth media in the youtube and we inoculate a at one uh, limb of the youtube and then after growth if we see that the growth is seen here also in the other limb also then we can say that the flagella is present in the bacteria so that uh, indicates that yes flagella is present that's why the bacteria has moved from this limb to this and uh, we indirectly can say that yes there is flagella present in that species of the bacteria other than that we can use electron microscopy uh, then manitol motility medium that is most commonly used the please remember the most commons okay so this is manitol motility medium and the phase contrast medium can also be used to demonstrate the flagella so these are the, all the structures uh, i mean all the methods by which we can demonstrate the flagella now motility okay so that flagella based on the presence on the bacteria they provides different types of motility like tumbling darting swarming gliding falling leaf like so you can uh, if you are interested you can remember the names like which bacteria shows which types of motility like listeria so the tumbling motility is so shown by listeria darting motility by the vibrio cholerae then swarming by the protea gliding by the mycoplasma and falling of like by the giardia lambda so if you are interested you can remember the motility of different bacteria this is all about the flagella of the bacteria now coming to the fimbri or the pili so fimbri or pili the fimbri of the uh, the fimbri is nothing but a hair like thin appendage which is present in the bacteria and this do not help in mo motility please remember this do not help in motility rather they help in bacterial adhesion okay this fimbri help in bacterial adhesion not in the motility of the bacteria they do not confer motility this is a very important topic i mean sorry this is a very important point about the fimbri that they do not confer motility rather they help in just the bacterial adhesion and this can be present in both motile and non motile bacteria so it is not so that it will be only always present in only the motile bacteria rather they can be present in both motile and as well as non motile bacteria now we have two types of pili pili okay we have two types of pili according to the functions one is the common pili other one is the sex pili so common pili uh, helps in the bacterial adhesion and the sex pili helps in conjugation uh, this common pili are many in numbers but the sex pili are few in number 1 to 10 only the common pili are present in both gram positive and gram negative bacteria but the sex pili are present only in the gram negative bacteria okay so these are the uh, two types of pili that we see in case of bacteria and that is the difference for the characteristics of these two but now we will see how to demonstrate the pili so for the demonstration of the pili we have electron microscope by electron microscope we can demonstrate or through the formation of surface pellicle we can demonstrate so sur surface pellicle means we have this test tube and we inoculate the bacteria in it and after inoculation what we see there is formation of a growth uh, at the surface of the uh, uh, you know surface of the uh, growth media <coughs> that is called as the surface pellicle and this is due to adherence of the bacteria to each other by fimbri or pili so by that we can indirectly uh, demonstrate that there is fimbri or pili present this is all about the flagella and pili